Facebook has apologized after journalists were able to run paid promotions targeting people who may have an interest in a genocide conspiracy favored by white nationalists. The new site, The Intercept, says its request to start the campaign was approved by a member of Facebook's advertising department. Our business correspondent, Joe Miller, told me more about the ad campaign. Well, Facebook hasn't got a great track record when it comes to approving these ad campaigns. Now, just to take you back a little bit, the reason why Facebook makes so much money from advertising is that advertisers are able to go on Facebook and choose specific audiences to target their ads at. And you may remember about a year ago, uh, Facebook got into trouble for, being, for uh, ProPublica, which is a journalist organization, being able to target people who self-described as Jew haters. And now, just 13 months later, another website, The Internet, was able to target 168,000 Facebook users who expressed an interest or liked a white genocide conspiracy theory. Now, there's a crucial difference between this case and the case that happened around a year ago. That was the year ago one was people who self-identified as Jew haters or in other offensive terms. This was an algorithm that um, basically allowed uh, pro uh, the Intercept rather to target people who'd express an interest in these mm. views. Now, this genocide theory in particular you have has a link to last week's attack in Pittsburgh, I believe. Absolutely. It's a theory that most people probably wouldn't have heard of until those events because prosecutors in the US believe that the attacker who killed 11 people in a synagogue in Pittsburgh was motivated by this theory. And it's a theory that posits that um, outside forces, whatever that may mean, including Jews, uh, are conspiring to eradicate the white race. It's a, it's a conspiracy theory that human rights groups have done an awful lot to try and rebut and to get off responsible social media sites. And here we have the biggest social media site in the world offering advertisers the ability to target those people. Now we should say Facebook has apologized and removed this capability, says it was a problem with its algorithm, but this, as I say, is the second time this has happened, albeit in slightly different uh, ways and it doesn't look good when it comes to Facebook and its okay. advertising team. Yeah.